Rob from the Brush and Bulkham. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to paint faces. Now this is the first in a series I'm going to do of different faces, different races, different colours and techniques and things like that that you can use to do like sort of shading round eyes and wounds and things like that. So I'm going to be doing quite a few different miniatures, quite a few different heads. So you will see those coming over the next few months. If you'd like to support me, my coffee and Patreon page is a link below. Now onto the video. So this is the finished miniature and the face is what we're going to be working on in this video. It's the start to finish of how to do this face or showing how I did this face. So hopefully you'll pick up a few bits from this when working on your own marines. The first colour we're going to be using is Citadel Bugman's Glow and this will be the base for a pretty intermediate Caucasian skin tone. Once you put the shades on there and we start to build up the colours, it should bring out the lighter highlights on the ridges and the details, bring out a little bit more definition. So we are going to be doing a lot more different faces and heads for Marines. And also aiming to do quite a few different races too. Next up we're going to use some Citadel Rightland Flesh Shade and that will just shade all of the skin and bring out those details so you can see exactly where they are. So as with everything, I'd always put a little bit of my fist on red into all and any wounds which are on the face. And then we're just going to add a tiny little bit of Druchy Violet. But a quick way you can do this is by using Citadel Caro Bird Crimson and putting that down these wounds too. And if you just use that on its own, it will give you that red inside the wound. So we're just going to quickly lash a little bit of Gore Grunt of Fur contrast onto the hair just to make that have a little bit of detail. Now going back to Bugman's Glow, I'm going to start working on that skin. So I'm using a really small brush here. I believe it's the Army Painter Wargamer character brush. In fact, no, it's the Insane Detail brush. And I'm just using this to put the initial base colour back on. Now what I'm thinking about here is when the light's coming from above, the areas it's going to catch. And thinking about where we are going to be doing our final highlights too, you can see some of the wrinkles on his brow. You've got the wrinkles down the side of the cheek there and on his nose too. So you want to be leaving some of the shade in the recesses in these areas so that you can see exactly where they are. And also adding the Bugman's Glow to the areas around that so that it does really make those stand out. Now where he's got the slices down his face here, you do have to try and fit those details in between them on the bits of skin between the slices. So we're now going to add a little bit of Citadel Kislev Flesh, which is quite a pale flesh shade. But we're going to mix that with the Bugman's Glow just to lighten up the Bugman's Glow a little bit. And then we're just going to apply this to the top surfaces of all those areas. So you've got like the cheekbone. I always do a little bit of a highlight there, just because that sticks out just a little touch. And then you've got kind of like almost like little ridges going up the cheek. You've got the little details on the nose there. And you have also the cheekbone on the other side and the creases on the brow as well. Now, because I've done this fella looking to his left, it means the other side of his face is a bit of a pain to get to, but you can just about reach it. Now, we're going to add a little bit more Citadel Kislev Flesh to the previous mix, and that is going to add another layer of highlights to this. Each time you're doing these highlights, you want to be trying to do them on the top edges of the areas that you've just highlighted, and that will give you that dark to light as it gets higher and higher on the face. So you've got those cheekbones there you have the brightest light or the brightest shade on the top of the cheekbone and the darkest one on the bottom now because i'm trying to get this face look as good as i can i'm going to be adding a little bit more kislev flesh to the previous mix and just applying that once more doing tiny little thin highlights to those ridges on the brow around the top of the head and on those cheekbones also on the ridges on the nose and you've got those little creases going down the side of the face as well either side of the mouth this is just trying to add a little tiny bit more of a lighter highlight so you have a bit more of a contrast between the darker areas and the lighter areas some of them don't tend to do too much because it doesn't look too natural when you have them too bright to too dark pushing out those contrasts between it, it does make it stand out quite well. And when you're doing a miniature's face and you want to try and get it so the details all stand out, it's a good way to do it. 
So I'm just going to use pure Kislev flesh here and just do the final little touches of highlights to so the very top edges of creases, any little spot highlights on the ridges like the nose and the lip and things like that. Nose eyelids too, got the lower eyelids. The creases on the top of the head, creases by the eye where he's got those kind of crow's feet going on. Like so. That picks out all those details and as you can see they do stand out rather well. Now I'm going to use a little bit of Vallejo Game Colour Wash, Red Wash, and we are going to use this to go around the service stud on his forehead, and also around the wounds on his head. And I also use a tiny little bit just on the lips and around the eyelids too, just to make them look a little bit red. As you can see, it does make the wound around his face there look quite sore and inflamed. So you can just add little bits of this to that. And it's one of the colours that I really do recommend, like the red wash. It gives it that kind of pink hue, rather than if you try it with Caraberg Crimson, it will really make that dark. So you can see it has just made it look sore and red there. Now I'm going to do the eyes. I'm going to use a little bit of Vallejo White. And dragging the brush from the nose to the outside of the head will give you that nice straight line for the eye. If you do this and you accidentally splat a bit, which I quite often do, onto the eyelids or any other areas you can just go back redo that and it's always worth keeping a tiny little bit of the previous colors sort of like that kislev flesh or even some of the reichland sh flesh shade just so you can get those colors back into any recesses if you do too much white on there so we're now going to use a tiny little bit of the red wash once more I'm going to do this around the edges of the eyes you can splot that onto the eye and then use your brush to absorb some of it back so it looks a bit more inflamed. Then I'm going to use a little bit of Vallejo Black just to put the little spots in the eyes. Again, if you make a mess of it, you can always go back and do it again. Use a little bit of white to touch those up. If you are touching up the eyes, it's worth getting some sort of magnifying glasses or something like that. Just so you can really get those details in when you're working on them. I tend not to use them on video so much, but if I am doing the eyes, I will use a pair of them because my eyesight is getting a little bit worse. I'm going to use a tiny little bit of Citadel Blood for the Blood God. I'm going to put a little bit of this down each wound. If you want to, you will be able to do a few little really thin trickles of the blood running from each of those slices too. Another colour that I'd really recommend is Vallejo Model Air Chrome. It's got loads of pigment, really, really shiny and ideal for doing the service studs so they stand out. So just put a little spot of that onto the service stud, and then you're finished. So this is the finished head. I think it's one of the better ones out the Primaris Intercessors pack. Really liked painting it, really enjoyed painting it, and really pleased with how it turned out as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also, think about subscribing to some of our other social media, link below. Thanks very much. If you like the channel, you enjoy the content and you'd like to support me, my coffee and Patreon pages are linked below. Thanks very much.